Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Uchi and really quick, I just wanted to update you guys that I have finally caught up with the Dragon Ball Super manga and I just wanted to talk to you guys about my opinions and thoughts on the current portion of the storyline and as far as you guys do know that are aware and if you're not, you're about to know right now that the story actually follows different points but it still ends up with the same end result for those that are not aware. So what I'm trying to say is the anime, you might see some things that happened in this that you don't see in the manga and vice versa. So of course, I will give my stamp of spoilers right now. I will be discussing things and revealing things that happened. So if you're not caught up, you might want to read first. There's only 26 chapters out right now. It's a monthly, so it's very easy to catch up on, which is why I was able to catch up with the limited time that I have. So here, we go. Holy shit! My man freaking Goku did the Hakai? Yo, I did not think that they were gonna let this dude do that. So I just wanna talk about some of the changes that I noticed. Some of the things that they didn't do from the anime that they did in the manga instead. First things first, I felt like in the manga, the fusion between Goku and Vegeta lasted a little bit shorter than it did in the manga in comparison to the anime. The anime felt like they were around for a good amount of time, but then again, it didn't last very long. As far as Trunks goes, my man Trunks didn't even get the opportunity to go Super Saiyan Ikari or Super Saiyan Rage like he did in the anime. And there was no Spirit Sword. They actually ended it similar, but the end result actually wasn't like that at all. He did get to stab Zamas, which I will also say they called it Zamas in the manga. In the anime, it's pronounced Zamasu. So it's yet to be seen whether we get to our English dub in the future for Dragon Ball Super, if they actually stick to Zamasu or Zamas. And honestly, it kind of makes sense if it ends up being Zamas because normally in Japanese words, the U at the end of the word is silent. So you never really pronounce it, but sometimes you do. Now, in turn for Trunks, instead of having the opportunity to go Super Saiyan Ikari or Rage, instead, this dude was given healing powers. So when he was underneath the Supreme Kai as his apprentice, because yes, that also did happen in his timeline, he was given the powers of healing. That when you're an apprentice, apparently you get healing powers. And since he was an apprentice in his timeline, he was granted healing powers. So this played a role in the out the actual outcome of the story. He was able to heal Goku when after the fusion was split, Vegeta and Goku were in a bit of a pickle and they needed some aid and they ran out of sensu beans. So Trunks healed up Goku instead of Vegeta. That was actually Vegeta's decision. And he heals him and when he heals him, he's able to power back up to Super Saiyan Blue Except this time is different. Another thing that I'm going to lead into is what they changed is that there was no Kaioken. Super Saiyan Blue with the Kaioken boost up was never present. Instead, what they did was Goku actually go powers the Super Saiyan Blue and then he kind of like absorbs the power within himself. So the aura that would be around him was within him instead. It was a little confusing for those that might be a little confused. But I kind of understood it, and instead, he ends up fighting against Zamas, the old, the final Zamas, and go, they're going back and forth, blah, 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 and then he finally decides that he's going to take the rest of that energy and do a one-punch type of style. However, instead, he surprises us with the Hakai, the destruction technique from Beerus. So with that being said, it is almost like the manga is almost is trying to tell us that Goku and possibly Vegeta too are on the way of becoming the next potential gods of destruction if they are able to channel this god key in such a fashion. And also just a little added bonus for those that don't already know, they do also use the Super Saiyan god form. Now basically in the anime we have not seen this form since the Beerus fight and we've actually never seen Vegeta use it once but in this manga they actually use it they use it and then they use blue and then I'm pretty sure there's a point where the Vegeta was even flashing blue on and off well he was going God and then going blue and it was like in bursts like he would use 
Super Saiyan God to become to utilize its faster, more maintained motion control, and he would instantly power up to blue when he would go in for attack and just quickly power back down to God in an instant, and you didn't even notice. And actually, obviously, they caught on so they can explain to you, the reader, of what actually happened. But all in all, I gotta say, it was actually pretty interesting to see the changes and differences that they decide to do. And another thing I just remembered, Zamas did not turn into this weird, ugly looking demon thing when the fusion didn't work. Instead of them splitting into two separate forms because he is part immortal and part mortal, they instead decided to go the route of Metacooler and they just had a billion fused Zamas all over the place. And I bring up the meta cooler thing because I have a side by side comparison. It's kind of funny how they are taking a lot of non canonical things and applying it into the canon realm of things. And this isn't the first time I will be mentioning this. Look forward to a future video where I cover how Broly can actually become a part of Dragon Ball Super. So with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about this in my Discord, especially on Discord. And make sure to follow me on Twitch to talk about this and many other things while I play some games. And make sure to check out my other videos as well. And this is my review of Dragon Ball Super Manga up to Chapter 26. If you guys liked and enjoyed this video, let me know. And I can definitely do more as they come out. If not, I'll see y'all next time.